You know, folks, I got to tell you all, EPF never really has a dull day in his life. I just got here to good old Norristown. I'm right next here to the Stony Creek because I thought, you know, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, sunny day, beautiful day to be out here trying to catch my first ever brook trout of 2020, the Salvelinus Fontinalis. So APF wakes up in the morning and goes on a journey, right? On my way here, I saw a crackhead smoke crack cocaine, like midday, no shame. Found a very interesting and cool abandoned building that I'm assuming had a lot of history in the past, you know, like super nice find. Had a vegan girl call me incel on Instagram earlier today. Yeah, this is the good life, bro. So anyways, I'm finally here at the creek. All this happened. Didn't even start fishing yet. I'm going to get my fishing gear together. I got some power bait with me. Two objectives, one catch the trout, and number two, I got these waterproof socks that I kind of want to test today, see how waterproof they really are. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. It is actually quite interesting because every time I come to the Stony Creek, I tend to always start at this particular spot. Uh, right under the bridge. You are not really allowed to fish under the bridge because this bridge is decaying and pieces of things fall in the water. So, you know, the park here doesn't want to be held accountable if you hurt yourself, right, being under the bridge. But you can be right next to the bridge and cast over here. Here there's a nice little hole, right, that usually hold trout. I got to tell you though, the water is extremely clear today oh yeah okay okay so far i'm not feeling any water around my feet you know i mean sure the water temperature is getting to my feet but it seems like it is dry all right this socks may indeed be waterproof very nice i'm gonna set up my stuff we're gonna get started over here and if nothing happens move spots all day long until we find those holdover trout we gotta get started with a pretty simple setup uh power bait natural sand trout bait right i'm using the salmon peach flavor i like my power bait to be orange or yellow for some reason i don't know i just have an affinity for this color over here and the key element during winter fishing for this stock trout is that you don't over put you know power bait on your hook okay so try to put as little as possible on your hook just enough that it covers the hook but you, well, you got to make sure it covers the entire hook. Otherwise, this finicky holdover trout, they don't really get to your power bait. Now you see this hole usually holds some trout. Every time I come here, I catch at least one in this hole. So I'm pretty positive that something is going to happen. You know, it does look shallow, it looks clear, but I think we should be able to find some fish over here. Oh, got a hit. Got a hit, got a hit, got a hit, got a hit. There's something on the power bait, or there was something on the power bait. I think it's still, it's still on there. It's still on there. Fish on, fish on. First fish of the day. Less than five minutes here at the spot. Is it a brookie? Oh my goodness. See, you can see the fish in the water. The fish is so clear. The water is so clear. Look at that. Stony Creek trout. First one of the day too. That is beautiful. Less than five, less than five minutes. I just, I just got here. Less than five minutes, folks. It's a, oh, it's a rainbow. It's a rainbow. <laughs> Wet my hands here real quick. Rainbow trout, first one of the day. Okay, put it back in the water, take a few shots, release it. Not exactly the one we're looking for. Having the set of socks now really, really helps with the release of the trout. Look at that, huh? the beauty of this fish. And there it goes, my man. You can still see it in the distance, going back to its hole. That is amazing. First fish of the day, not exactly a brookie, but we are not getting skunked, so it's all good. So 
Some people just don't believe it. It is the magic dough, man, the power bait. I don't know about no native trout or wild trout, but you got this little dough right here in front of a stock trout. Baby, it means business. And this is exactly what I'm here to do. Business. Where is my salvelinos, huh? I'm happy with the Oncorincus, don't take me wrong, but where is my Salvelinus Fontinalis? There's got to be one down there, got to be one down there. Oh, got a hit, got a hit, got a hit. My power bait disappeared, son, disappeared. I, I, I wish you guys could see it. Fish on. Oh, I lost it. Oh, dude, you can see, that it's so clear. I saw it, the power bait, boom, disappeared, man. Let's put another dough, you know, it's just a matter of time, man. There's some, there's some trout down there, that, that's the good news. That's the spot, that's the spot. That's exactly where I want it to be. Dude, this is just so weird, because the bite is so soft. I don't see it, I think there's a fish on it. I'm gonna set the hook, bro, fish on. Boy, oh boy, the bite was so subtle. I kid you not. These fish are mm, finicky. They're definitely getting the stuff though, but they're finicky. And it is another rainbow, <laughs> it's another rainbow trout. Hey, feels good on the ultralight. You know what I'm saying? This, <laughs> this is what it is all about. This is what it is all about. All right, come here. Ay, ay, ay. I'm looking for that brook, man. I saw the power bait disappear, you know? And then I was like, mm, I'm actually not sure if the fish took it or not, right? No, it turns out it took it. Look at that, huh? Beauty of a little fella right here. So I'm sure that you guys have already realized what I've been doing over here. I kind of created a little hole over here to keep my trout in the water while I take all, all the photos and all the other media that I need, right? And then, oh well, that one's just gone. <laughs> I was going to release it anyways, but I was going to say, right? And then when I'm ready, I got the waterproof socks over here that actually work really well. And then I just go in the water, right? And I kind of release my trout. In other words, the trout that I've been catching today never leave the water. Wet hands, right? Not to mention, not a single drop of blood. They go back, man, and they go back happy. That one swam away good, you know? It is actually good for me to talk a little bit about fish safe handling skills in this video because people definitely need it, especially when it comes to the trout. Like I mentioned just now in this video, the trout that I caught today so far never left the water. And if you're going to do catch and release for this particular species of fish, this is how it should be done anyways, all right? Get yourself some Water, waterproof socks, man, or a pair of waders or something so that you can go in the water and do a nice job, right? Get one of those cheesy ass trout uh, nets, you know, so you don't have to take them out of the water. Another thing I would like to touch on this video too is gut hooking. Sometimes you use power bait, you gut hook the fish, right? Not a good feeling, especially when you are doing catch photo release. But the thing is, when that happens, as unfortunate as it is, you cut the line in the water and just let the fish go, my man. You know what I'm saying? You don't try to rip it out of its throat. You don't try to keep it out of the water because when the density changes, right, and you rip his internal organs, that's when you got the internal bleeding and the fish bleeds and then later is going to die, right? You want to make absolutely sure that you take good care so that this indeed becomes a renewable resource. It doesn't become catch, release, die. You know what I'm saying? Well, that being said, I'm going to try over here for a little bit more, then I'm going to start hopping spots around the area. I still have faith that there is a brook trout down there, but worse comes to worse, you know, there are plenty of other holes here in the Stony Creek, right? So, let's see what happens. Hmm, it has been about 10 minutes since I have gotten my last bite at this particular spot. And this is what I think, for this time of the year, this water temperature, not to mention this place has been overfished to death, right? I was lucky to find two rainbow trout in one hole hold over. There could be one more down there or even maybe two more, but since I haven't been getting any bites, I think it is finally time to start moving and start hitting some other holes, right? As EPF like to say on this channel, you can't stay 
in one hole for too long. You know what I'm saying? You got to use, I mean, not use, you got to hit multiple holes, right? All this talk about holes, man. I got a hit on the power bait. I don't know if the fish took it. Uh, what is the condition of my bait down there? How come I don't see it anymore? Man, these fish are finicky today, very finicky. Oh, the fish is on it, fish on. Oh yeah, I knew there was going to be one more down there. I was talking about holes, hold this, hold that, you know? The next thing you know, man, my power bay just disappeared, bro. Look at that, huh? This one's actually bigger than the other two, or it looks like it's bigger than the other two. Man, I found myself the, the honey hole in the creek today. Ultra light fighting this trout here, man. Not bad, not bad at all. Look at that, huh? Right into my little homemade hole over here. <laughs> this is perfect. Let me take the hook out. We're gonna release this dude. All right, it's time to put you back over here, son. I know, I know, I know. I know you wanna go, you wanna go. I know you wanna go. We're gonna make sure that you go, all right? That you go in a good fashion for everyone to see, okay? So when you're ready, boy, when you're ready, when you're ready. Okay, I, I know, I know how it feels. Probably feels very weird and uncomfortable, right? Oh my man, back to the hole it goes. Third one from the same hole. This is unbelievable. And I'm locked, I'm loving. This waterproof sucks. I can't believe this. Where is my power bait? I cannot believe this. Okay, it's floating there. I was going to say, man, if I got a fourth fish out of this hole, man, I would be like, wow. I think we got another bite. I kid you not. I think we got another fish here on the power bait. Four fish in one hole, man. Fish on. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. Four fish in one hole. For holdover, winter time? I'm telling you, this, this ain't normal, man. This ain't not normal. And this one's hooked on the side of the mouth because it's jumping. You know right away when they're hooked on the side of the mouth, I bet it's hooked on the side of the mouth. Because if it jumps, man, I mean, it was no good, good hook. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see if I was right or not. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is just a feisty, feisty trout, you know? Oh, it's barely on the inside of the lip, isn't it? Yeah, all right. We can do, we can do some easy removing right here. Wow, man. The sizes here are definitely getting smaller, though, you know? This is, this is like a, this is like baby, man. Look at this. This is, yo, this is, mm -mm, this is, bro. What, what is this? <laughs> this is, this is baby, baby rainbow trout, you know? Go back where you belong. Go call your cousin the Salvelinos, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you all something. You know that a hole is depleted. When you do what EPF just did to this hole right here, man, I went in it deep, son. Aunt, grandma, daughter, mother, nobody was spared, man. I caught the whole family and I released the whole family. So they're all together down there again, <laughs> you know, probably talk about to each other, you know, about the tales of the, of the Asian alien. Anyways, yeah, this hole is done for, for the day. I definitely need to move and go hit another hole out there. The hole destroyer, my man. I'm gonna be sincere with you all. The water level over here is pretty low and downstream is not looking too hot. So I'm gonna start heading upstream, you know? And let me tell you all something. So far, this waterproof socks, I just wanna show you guys. It goes all the way to my, to my calf, right? This waterproof socks are doing a great job. I kid you not. Look at this, man, just some light waiting. I don't feel a single drip of water on my, on my feet. This is unbelievable, man, unbelievable. I'm gonna leave the sock hyperlink in the description of the video, man. It's not cheap, but this thing works, I'm telling you. I got to tell you all, his Stony Creek definitely makes justice to its name. It is a stony, okay? Look at this. This is stone formation over here, right? 
kind of beautiful if you think about it. A lot of people around this area don't appreciate or undervalue the natural beauty that we have around here, right? These formations are indeed beautiful. Personal opinion. Oh, yes. I can see it all the way from over here. Let me come a little bit closer so you guys can see it too. You see where that tree, tree trunk is at right here? That looks like a real juicy spot. You see? You got fast current coming from this side and coming from over here as well. Suddenly, you got a deep pool of water over there. So if there are any trout in this stretch of this little creek, there's really only one place they can be, right? Right here. Punch it right in front of that trunk. Right in front of the trunk. Perfect. If there's any trout, that is going to be the spot. I think I got a hit. I kid you not. I think I got a hit. Oh my goodness gracious. I think I had a hit. Fish on boy! What did I say? What did I say? Yo, what did EPF told you? What did, what did your boy told you, man? Your boy said this this the spot, right? Your boy saw that tree trunk and said, bro, you come here, you slay some fish. What did I say? Oh yeah, I, I'm here all by myself. Yeah, homies. That's right, because if you get off your couch and you do some work and you find the tree trunk, you're gonna catch some fish, boy. That's what's up. No, this is the biggest trout of the day. Look at this. Biggest rainbow trout of the day so far. Fifth one of the day. All right, anyways, quick, quick hook, quick release in the water, all right? What did your boy say, huh? What did your boy say? Your boy said, man, you come here to the tree trunk, right? And you are going to land yourself some trout, my man. That's what I said. Right, Trouty? Hell yeah, take your time, take your time. Oh, that is beautiful, bro! Tree trunk! Tree trunk! Ladies and gentlemen, I knew it! From the moment I saw this tree trunk, I just knew it! I knew there had to be a fish over here! Now, the main question is, is there a brook trout also in here? That is the main question. Dude, I got a hit already! Instant hit! As soon as the power bait went in the water! I kid you not! I kid you not, uncut footage, my man, uncut footage, oh, what is going on here? The trunk, man, I missed it, but it's the trunk, man. This is truly unbelievable, man. Cast it right next to the trunk, that last cast, bro, my power bait instantly just disappeared. I was like, holy cow, that was the fastest bite of the entire day. But the thing is, I don't think that fish is going to bite again, because this is how trout are, you know? Once you miss them one time, especially the holdover ones, they get smart. Sometimes they don't bite for the rest of the day, sometimes you give them 15, 20 minutes, you come back, and then you will get a bite. So this is maybe what I have to do now. Hey, bro! What the heck is going on here? Did someone just leave? A whole free buffet over here at the creek. Yo, this is extremely sketchy, man. Very sketchy. Is this some kind of religion? There's a whole there's a whole cake and a muffin. And bananas and what is that? A zucchini? And oranges and a coconut and a watermelon? With some flour. I ain't gonna mess with this man. I don't wanna get cursed or anything. I don't know what type of uh, ritual is going on around here, but on a side note. This hole over here looks pretty juicy. I don't know about this, but this right here, it's almost talking to me, you know, man? I can hear it. It says, Leo, hit me, hit me. Oh, hell yeah, that's what I'm going to do, boy. We're about to hit it hard and deep, boy. You know what? I kind of I kinda decided to walk a little bit here to the left after giving a little bit of thought because I kid you not, my man, I don't want to be... Whatever, wh wh whoever left those things, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's evil or good. In Brazil, we have something called macumba, you know? That the people leave like clay pots around with food and some chicken sacrifices and stuff. I hope this is, this, this is like a good offering or something. I don't know, but I am messing with that. So I came to this side over here 
I'm gonna cast over here a few times, see if there's any fish, and if nothing, bro, you know what? I I'm ready to get out of this creek, my man. You know, I don't, I wouldn't get cursed for the rest of the year or something. Man, that is just sketchy. The food is still back there at the beginning of that hole. Let me tell you something, man. I was born and raised in Brazil. I've seen enough macumba to know not to mess with that kind of stuff. I don't know what kind of religion or ritual or offering that was, but I don't mess with that stuff, you know. Today has been a very, very weird day. But besides being a weird day, the trout bite was pretty fire. Holdover trout, February. I mean, I'm finishing the day with five rainbow trout, right? You can't beat that. And sure, the brook trout didn't really show up, you know, but hey, it is way, way better than getting skunked. You see, Pennsylvania has this weird regulation that you cannot really hit trout approved waters uh, a month before the beginning of the trout season. So right now is the end of February. I have a few days left really to fish here and there for the trout before I can fish it again only at the beginning of the season for 2020, right? Anyways, that being said, one of the objectives wasn't accomplished, but the other one, the waterproof socks, man, I just want to show you guys, right? I've been using these socks today, the whole day, check it out. And I mean, my pants are wet, Sock is wet on the outside. My feet are dry, bro, very dry. So these socks, they look horrible. They're pretty expensive, but they actually work pretty good, you know? And I don't need to come out here with like my muck boots, right? If I feel like it, yeah, sure. I will come, I prefer to come with like shoes like this and just waterproof socks, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave it in the description of the video if you want to check it out, all right? I think it was like 50 bucks, not cheap. But at least it works. Now, how long it is going to last, I don't know. But hopefully you guys will see this on the channel again. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you guys learned a little bit about trout fishing or winter trout fishing, holdover, winter trout fishing, how to hit the holes pretty deep, right? I'll see you guys next time. Tight lines and take it easy.